Hi guys, this is Sadek from Webdom.com. In this video, we're sharing a new Keybox file. The last Keybox file which I shared was the 23rd one, and this has now been revoked. So I will now share a new file, 24th file. Along with that, I, I have a new Keybox module as well, version 1.4, I suppose, which is over here. This is also having an unrevoked Keybox file, version 1.4, this is the one. So to recall, if your phone is currently obtained root, you must simply flash this Keybox module, or you may also use the steps shown here. In this regard, all the steps are given in my article. But just to be on a safer side, I'll show you once again what needs to be done. So in this regard, first off, go to APAT, Magis, or KSU. Then flash the modules of PIF, fix or fork. The fix has been discontinued, but still it's currently working till Android 15. You may use either of them, the fix or the fork. Then flash tricky store, tricky store add-on. Add-on will not be shown here, it's normal. Zygis LS post, assistant. And that is next is required for the KSU and APAD. It's not required in Magis. In Magis, you have to manually enable the Zydisk from the Magis settings menu. Once you flash all these modules, restart the phone. Then also install the KSU Web UI app. Then go there. First of all, go to the plain data fix. Tap on fetch PIF JSON. You'll get a new PIF JSON file. One that is done, go back. Then select tricky store. This is a new UI. First off, choose the first option. This will choose all the apps. Then choose the reselect necessary. This will remove the app which are not required. For example, the routing apps uh, of what you could see, the APAS, KSU Web UI, these will be unchecked. Then after that, tap on set patch, advance, get patch date, tap on save. Then once all of these are done, you will now get the keyboard file from my article. If you will share your keyboard link over here, then I will share the file via email in this article's comment section or you may simply get the module file from this link. It's already up there uploaded. So I said all yours. Once you've got the file, Open the file app that supports root. Go to data adb tricky store and place the keyboard file over here. When that is done, do a restart which is optional or you must simply check it via the app. The integrity API checker app, tap here. And you could see we are passing the strong test as well or you must simply check from the Play Store itself. No need to install any third party app. For that, from the Play Store check, go there. Skip, tap on your profile. Then select settings. Then about and tap on Play Store version seven times. Then you are now developer. So expand the general section. From here, you have to go to Dev Options, tap on Check Integrity, and you could see it will now pass all the three tests, basic device and strong test with ease. Likewise, you may also flash my Keybox module. The module I have, which is from this article only, from here. In my case, I have the module onto my phone. So first of all, let's remove the Keybox file from here. The job of this module is quite simple. It will simply place an unrevoked file in the data database tricky store. You will not have to do that manually. So it will simply flash the file. The job of the module is quite simple. It will place the unrevoked keyboard file in this location. That is it. You don't have to do that manually. Simply you will flash the module and you will get the file in this location. Let me show you. Currently there's no file as you could see over here. So now open your app, the routing app. In my case, a patch. Install. Choose the drive key keybox module over here. Tap on reboot. The phone will now reboot and after that, you will have the unrevoked keybox file in data adb register location automatically. That flashing okay. module is a safer way, is a faster way. But if you are using a custom ROM, then there's no need to root the custom ROM. Simply then you may ask the file from me using the e email and I will share the file. In that case, the module will not come in handy because most of the you don't want to root the custom ROM. So if you don't want to root the custom ROM, not an issue. Simply skip the module and get the file from your email and then place the file there. With that said, let's now see what about the modules case currently is working or not. So launch the routing app, a patch in my case. Go to module and you could see my G Droidwin G keybox is over here. So let's now launch the checker app and see what happens. Please don't check minion time because it might lead to a revoking very fast at an earlier stage. Don't check that minion time. Let's only check for the last time from Play Store or let's use the app for once. That will not take much time. Check and you could see even the module has placed the file in the right directory and you are now passing the strong test with ease. So guys, that's all from this video. It's the version 24 and version 1.4 for the module and the keyboard file. If you have any query, let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.